Hey everybody, welcome to the show today. Um, what we're going to be making today is an Instant Pot pressure cooked meatloaf. I didn't know this was even possible, but I've been checking around and it is. So, hey, who wants to like have a meatloaf done in like 15, 20 minutes as opposed to hours like it would take in a normal oven? Okay, so let's get to the ingredients and stuff. Okay, for this recipe, you're going to need yourself some nice hamburger. Now, I'm using a leaner hamburger because I find that when you're making a meatloaf, it loses a lot of the oil and grease and whatnot, and we don't want that necessarily to be happening in this. Okay, um, you're going to need some powdered chicken stock, uh, cut up onion. I actually bought a pre-cut because I'm lazy today. Um, some poultry seasoning. Parmesan cheese. Worcester salt. Oh, sorry, Worcester sauce and salt and pepper. Okay. Now the most important part is either a cake tin or a pie plate that fits inside the main vessel of your uh, pressure cooker. Okay. Now you'll see why in a minute. It's actually pretty clever. Let me just get some of this stuff out of the way. Now I'm just going to be putting an onion in here. Okay, we're just going to slam that onion in there. Ah, pretty clever. Don't even have to. Oh. Yeah, it just spoke. <laughs> That's my audience. Okay, a little bit of pepper. This all depends on your tastes, of course. Good splash of Worcester sauce. Now, if you wanted to add any vegetables in, uh, sometimes diced up mushrooms are beautiful in a meatloaf. Now, we're going to add about a cup and a half of the Parmesan. And about a tablespoon of chicken stock. Okay. Now that we've got the dry ingredients, at, well, the dry-ish ingredients, <laughs> we're going to add in our hamburger. And we're going to mix this all together. Now, traditionally, people would put in breadcrumbs or whatever as a, a filler, as a binder. That's what we're going to be using the Parmesan cheese for. Ooh. Man down. What is that one for? A piece of hamburger that follow the ball, baby. Oh. <laughs> you want to get sure, make sure this is all well mixed. Okay, Kelly, hit that stop. We're going to fast forward to when it's all mixed. It's going to take a few minutes. Okay, um, here we have the hamburger mixed. Uh, I forgot to mention to put the tablespoon of the poultry seasoning in. Okay, so we formed this into a ball and we put this in our, well, I have a cake tin lined with foil, but if you had a disposable pie plate, anything like that, that would do the trick. So, we just sort of form it into a nice loaf in the pan like so. Really easy. Now, from here, ooh, 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 almost had a disaster there. Okay, we put a cup of water in our, our vessel. And then, we just take our meatloaf and drop it ooh, into the water and pop that into our pressure cooker like so just making sure my seal is okay okay now we're going to put this on meat stew oh, 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 but we're going to put the time down 
to 17 minutes. Okay? Oh, I got meat on the thing. <laughs> My hands are still a little gunky. Uh, we put this on for 17 minutes. Oh, make sure your valve is closed. And there we go. And we're going to fast forward to when this is cooked. Okay, and we're back. Uh, the time has gone. It's been releasing for two, sec two minutes. It's not a big deal. Uh, we're going to just instantly release it by just opening the valve. Which is like my favorite part. It's all loud and dramatic and it hisses. <laughs> now, to get this out, we're going to use our good old fashioned tongs. Now, you want to be very careful because this is hot. I gotta get a little closer in. Ooh, looks nice. Ooh, it smells really good. Uh, <laughs> um, pass me a rag. Oh, that'll work. Give me a rag. I forgot to grab an oven mitt. <laughs> Once you get it up, we just take it out thusly. And there we go, the finished product. Uh, it's not brown like you would expect a regular meatloaf to be, which is that's fine, because it's, you know, fundamentally steamed. But if you're in a hurry and you need a quick meatloaf, this is the way to go. So if you liked the video, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and like our video. Uh, any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.